Okay, we've got something quite exciting to look at today actually, a completely new community edition of Manjaro called WebDad, featuring a brand new desktop environment called Jade, just another desktop environment. So they've been teasing it on Twitter for the past day or so. So let me just go onto my Twitter a moment. There we go. So we are happy to announce our new Manjaro Community Edition WebDad featuring the new desktop, just another desktop environment. So in here, if you go onto this web page here, you can download an ISO of this right now, but it is currently unstable, so don't expect everything to work, you know, like a finished product. But I've had a little play around with it so far, and I'm quite impressed with what I see at the moment. So what we're gonna do is just have a very quick first look at this, because I am on Distro Spin a week, so I can't go too crazy with it as much as I'd like to just use it for a good few days. But we will do a follow-up video of it after I've had a bit more time to spare. So, so far what we can see is we have a tint, I think this is a tint 2 panel at the bottom that is on auto hide, so when you leave that, that will disappear. I'm not sure how long the delay is. There we go, so it's now disappeared. So if we bring it back down, your applications will appear in the middle here. Much like Chrome OS does their application tray, so you have your apps in the middle. In fact, a lot of this does feel a little bit Chrome OS -y. It's kind of like the Linux's answer to Chrome OS in a way, I feel anyway. So we have our clock here, which again will open up the Google Calendar web app. So if you were to sign in there, you could then go into your Google Calendar. Oh, we'll get into that in a moment, um, which again is quite interesting. And then we have this button here, which doesn't do anything on a right click at the moment anyway, but I think it's gonna probably be your user account or something. But if you do a left click, you can get your power on and off buttons like that. You have your network, you have a little volume slider here. You then have the PAMAC package manager there and you have your HDD free space and as I said your applications that are running will be in the middle and then we have some quick launches here but we also have this handy little search tool. So I've used it just to sort of search for files and things like that. I have noticed though a lot of this makes whatever application that's running minimize. So OBS is now minimized and I do need to keep it open to make sure that nothing goes wrong. So we'll test it with files so let's just type in files. And then if we was to press enter, that will open up files, which looks to be Nautilus. Is that Nautilus? I think that is Nautilus, isn't it? Gnome files, Nautilus, I do believe. So yeah, let's have a little bit more of a look around. So how can we get out of this? Can we press escape? No, escape's not doing anything. So if we've just pressed the search button, it will then disappear. Okay, cool. We then have a show desktop button here. This will open up the settings, which again, we will talk about in a moment. This is all applications, again, which we will talk about in a moment. This is files, this is Geary, your default email client, and then Chromium is your web browser. So let's close this. So if you just move, let me just see, yeah, everything seems to be minimizing running applications at the moment. If you move your mouse cursor to the left, again, that's minimize OBS. This will then open up the settings panel, or would you call that a panel? widget anyway opens the settings here and then you can get all of your settings applications here and as you can see it uses Cavantum for the theming we then have monitor settings which is why we are not currently running off the capture card because there's not too much that we can really do in these monitor settings at the moment and I just wanted to get going very quickly so that's why we have installed OBS on the host machine so what else have we got in here we have Quake which is your default sort of terminal so if you have a look at your Quake preferences here is it going to open anything no, but I do believe the shortcut is F12. Okay, that's not working for some strange reason. There we go, now it's opening up the preferences. So if we was to press F12, you'll then get your terminal like that. And I've already installed HTOP. Um, at the moment, we're using 1.4 gig. Um, from a fresh boot, I was using anywhere from about 700 to 800 megabytes. So let's get out of this by pressing F12 again. Let's go back into the settings manager and let me just open up OBS again. It keeps minimizing and I need, it's minimized again. Okay, we'll just hope for the best that it's recording. So have your kernel settings there, light DM for your greeter, panel manager, and as you can see, it's the tint two panel, which is what we've got here. So let's close that and let's go back into the settings. So we have visible categories where you can change what's on the visible categories. So let's just get rid of that again. Change wallpaper. So we can just open up the change wallpaper and then navigate to a file. But the most interesting, and I think what people are gonna enjoy a bit for a bit of eye candy, if you press this, mood wallpaper or mood background, as you can see, we now have a moving wallpaper. So I'm sure they're gonna use, like, there'll be more to select from as time goes on with this, but very nice indeed. 
and then I think that's all we want to really look at in here for the moment let's just have a little quick look around QT5 settings okay and then in the keyboard settings I can't see anywhere as of yet to change the shortcuts right now so hopefully that will be implemented at some point <clears throat> it might already be there I might just be being blind so let's see if there's anything else in here. So if we go to about, as you can see, this is just another desktop environment or Jade for short, using the license GPL and it was copyrighted in 2020. Okay, so what else have we got here? We can restore to defaults and then we have dev tools here and then you have stable testing, blah, 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 blah. Let's turn off dev tools. So that's your left panel or widget, which you can also get in by pressing the settings manager here and then that will open it like that or we now have the applications launcher if you well menu so what we have here is all of our applications that aren't settings so settings application packages will go in here and then if you go up to the top screen you then have a full screen sort of application menu and as you can see we have installed OBS ourselves I have also installed Terminator I do believe but it doesn't seem to be appearing anywhere on our screen like I said, we have Geary as our default email client, Nautilus as our file. So we have another web app for Skype online. We have Sync thing there. We have the Manjaro Hello. So another online applet is Microsoft Online, which is why I do feel a bit of a sort of callback to Chrome OS in a way. So what is our text editor? Is that get it? I do you believe that's get it? It is version 3.36.2. Another thing that is very new on here is they have a brand new software store so let's jump into the brand new software store and take a look at that so where might that be there it is discover web software center we also have the firewall configuration there as well so if we click that here is the discover software center which we'll have a look at in a moment and we're just going to open up the add or remove software as well just to show you them side by side so let's open up the new one and the standard one as you can see it's uh, got a bit more sort of flashiness to it I have noticed as well there's no side by side snapping with a mouse cursor but if you use your super key and your directionals you can get side by side snapping to work as you would expect we're going to check if there's any updates there shouldn't be there is not right so let's have a look at this software store as you can see we have a few little like icons here so we have a flat pack one a snap one what's one's this that's packages and then we have applications so if we was to press the flat pack one that will then there we go that will then populate the screen with just flat pack packages and then you could grab your flat packs like that and then if you was to press the snap one it will then have that and this is all inside one app which is pretty nice and clean to be honest with you and then just standard packages you can then grab from here so we're going to test this out and we're going to try and install the flat pack version of Caden live So just searching in the flat pack one should only show us the flat packs. It doesn't appear to be giving us any results for Caden Live at the moment. Let's see if it's got it in this main screen. So there's open shot. Glimpse GIMP. Obviously this is unstable, so a lot of things won't work as expected just yet. Um, I don't know if I've seen it or if I've gone past it or not. We can try and install it with a different application. I just want to see. I mean, it's going to take us a long while, isn't it? Is it in alphabetical order? No, B's there. Okay, we are going to skip that. Let's try and search for something like GIMP that we know is on there that we've just seen. And we'll just make sure that it's... Okay, so the searching is working, but it's not appearing to find flat um, Caden Live. So perhaps they're using a repository that's not Flat Hub. So if we go into help keyboard shortcuts so we do have some keyboard shortcuts for this application F f11 will toggle full screen f10 will toggle corner view and then we can zoom in and out with control plus and minus very interesting let's go into the snap store and see if they've got Caden live in there they should do there we go so it's in there but I'd rather use the flat pack for Caden live as I said we're not going to be doing too much on it because I am on distro spin a week so I can't get too carried away as much as I would like to let me just open OBS to make sure that it is still recording. It is indeed. So let's test an installation of Flatpak. Let's grab GIMP. So if we go to Info, easy install from PatMac UI, PatMac UI, but we want to do it with the... Okay, so it gives us a little bit of information here. So installing through Snap or Snap Remove. We don't want to install it through Snap though, do we? 
So let's go back. How do we get out of this current selection? Okay, that just shows us that. What does that do? Nothing. Do we have a back button of any sorts? Not that I can currently see. Okay, let's open it again. Obviously, as I said, this is unstable, so it's very much beta and not ready for sort of full release. Oh no, it's going to be in the settings applet, isn't it? There we go. So here's Discover Web Store again. So let's go back onto the flat pack and then just grab anything that we can see on the screen. So this is all info. Let me go onto Snap a moment. So it's, it's the same thing, info. So let's try, we've already got VLC. Let's try Spotify. So does it have an install button yet to do it straight from here? Not that I can see, but obviously that will all come in, I'm sure. Okay, so we can't do too much on this right now. It would be nice to have a back button at some point. Obviously, they will be adding it. But obviously, we can just follow those instructions if we want to do it through the terminal, which again is your guac. Okay, let's not worry about that too much then. Let's close that. I do want to sort of install a program though and see how it does it together. As I said, I have installed OBS, but I had to get a restart to happen for that to actually appear in the menu there so what we're going to do is install a program let me just check something as well because i have installed terminator let me see if i can run it from here yes so terminator is installed it's just not appearing in our application launcher that i can see anyway unless it's put in the settings one let's just double check that do we have Terminator anywhere on here? Not that I can see. If we go into user accounts, here is our settings manager for our user accounts, which is just a Manjaro one, I do believe. Right, let's install the program and then see if we can get it to appear in here after a reboot. So let's go nice and simple and install GIMP. There's not GIMP installed already, is there? No, so let's install GIMP. Oh dear. Okay, so we're going to install GIMP and we're going to see if it appears there instantly or if we do need to do a reboot. So if we open this, you will see that this is just a sort of a web app and then it will open you up to the Office 365. We won't bother signing in though. Okay, that's just installing that program now. Okay, that's installed. Let me just go back into the settings one, once more for a minute. So again, we have the manager, notify settings, QT5 settings, panel manager, firewall. Okay, there's nothing in there that I can see that will let us change shortcuts because as I said, in the keyboard settings here, we don't have a lot of options really, apart from the keyboard model and in the language and stuff. Okay, we won't worry about that. Right, so we know that GIMP has been installed through our terminal, so let's see if it's been installed into the application launcher now. No, let's see if we can search for it and see if it will appear in here. No, so what we're going to do is do a very quick reboot and just see if GIMP has appeared like it should. And then what we're going to do is wrap the video up there, but I will be keeping a very close eye on this one because this does look like something that I would be definitely interested in. So let's pause the video and we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we are back in business. I do not think that GIMP has appeared just yet. I wonder if it took a couple of reboots randomly for OBS to appear then. So let's just try one more thing and see if it's in the search. Okay, so GIMP is now appearing in the search. So we can open GIMP in the search. Is it definitely not in here yet? No. Okay, that's not to worry. Can we pin these? Not that I can tell at the moment. Right, let's close that. And then let's just check a couple more things and then we're going to wrap it up there. Yeah, like I said, we couldn't do the way I usually do it because of this monitor settings doesn't appear to have too much going on. Although it's just LXR and R, so we probably could have just done it in the terminal, to be honest with you. But I think we're going to wrap it up there. I will leave a link in the description below if you would like to try it out yourself. But do bear in mind, this is all very sort of unstable. So if you run into any problems, that is to be expected. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.